Hello everyone. Now I am going to explain about the diffusion capacitance. Okay. So here the diffusion capacitance can be considered in the forward bias condition of the PN junction diode. In the forward bias condition, as we apply the forward bias voltage, the holes will move from P side to N side and the electrons will move from N side to P side. That means here at the junction, the holes will be injected into the N, N region and the electrons will injected into the P region. Okay. So due to that, there will be a change in the charge in the PN junction diode. Okay. So the change in the charge in the PN junction diode with respect to the applied voltage is considered as the capacitive effect. So this capacitance is called as the diffusion capacitance. So here we are considering here the diffusion capacitance. The diffusion capacitance will be indicated with the C suffix D. Okay, here C represents the capacitance and D represents the diffusion. So finally, we have the diffusion capacitance in PN junction diode that can be represented as C suffix D. Okay, then what is the definition of this or what is the consideration of this diffusion capacitance in PN junction diode and it is we will consider in forward bias direction or forward biasing of the PN junction diode. So in this forward bias we have there will be a change in the charge with respect to the applied forward bias voltage and that change with respect to the voltage we will consider as CD that is diffusion capacitance. So here we have dq by dv we will consider change in the charge at the junction with respect to the voltage change in the applied voltage. So that is the expression here also we have we can write uh, it is the ratio of rate of change of uh, charge at the junction to the rate of change of applied forward bias voltage. So that gives the diffusion capacitance for us. Okay. Now here if we apply the forward bias the holes will move from P side to N side and electrons will move from N side to P side because of that there is a moment of uh, charge carriers will take place. Generally we will define the current is nothing but uh, the flow of charge, the rate of flow of charge with respect to the time we will consider as the current. So here is also there will be a change in the charge that is the flow of charge Q that results a diode current I. Okay. So the diode current I am taking as I is equal to Q by tau. Then what is tau here? Tau is nothing but the mean lifetime of uh, the average mean lifetime of uh, carriers. Average lifetime of the carriers. That means carrier C is your holes and electrons. Why we will consider the average value of the lifetime of carriers? Because at a particular point at the nearer to the junction, due to recombinations, some carriers will be lost. That means one hole and one electron will be lost. Okay. So we don't know how much how uh, many electrons that will crosses the junction and goes into the p-type are holes. Okay, that's why we will consider here the average lifetime of the carriers. So here tau is nothing but average lifetime of charge carriers. Average lifetime of carriers. Okay, so tau is here average lifetime of the carriers. I is equal to Q by tau. Okay, so and at the same time I am taking here Q is equal to I tau. Okay, so this equation I am taking as equation number one. Now what I am doing, I know that or uh, we know that there is diode current equation is equal to I is equal to I naught uh, E power V by neta Vt minus 1. This is the diode equation what we have derived in the previous discussions. Okay, so I is equal to I naught into E power V by neta Vt minus 1. Okay, so now what I am doing here, I am taking this I naught into the bracket. So I is equal to I naught E power V by neta Vt minus I naught. Okay, here I am taking this uh, I naught to this side so that it is I plus I naught that is equal to I naught E power V by neta Vt and I am taking this equation as equation number 3. Okay. Now, 
from the equation 2 that is i is equal to i not into e power v by nita v t minus 1 I am substituting this i value in the equation number 1 to calculate the total charge ok so therefore q is equal to i not e power v by nita v t minus 1 multiply with the tau in place of i I am substituting this value ok so therefore q is equal to i not e power v by nita v t minus 1 multiply with tau ok now what I am doing here I am taking this i naught and tau into the bracket ok so therefore q is equal to i naught e power v by nita v t multiply with tau minus i naught into tau but what we require here the rate of change or the charge uh, with respect to the applied voltage ok whenever you have to calculate a rate of change of any parameter you have to apply the differentiation ok so here I am applying the differentiation on both sides with respect to the applied voltage V ok so therefore it is dq by dv is equal to i naught into tau is constant for a given temperature and that is d by dv and at the same time why I am taking this i naught is constant means here i naught the reverse saturation current cannot depend on the applied reverse bias voltage ok so therefore i naught and tau will be constant and d by dv of the variable here is v that is e power v by nita vt minus d by dv i naught into tau so here if you observe this term is also a constant ok this term i naught into tau is a constant so we will write uh, this equation as dq by dv is equal to tau i naught it is a constant value and what is the differentiation of e power ax so differentiation of uh, e power ax is equal to e power ax multiply with a here x is equal to v and we have a is equal to 1 by nita vt ok so if you apply this same formula to this equation so what you will get here tau i naught e power v by nita vt the same value we will get e power ax and in place of uh, a we have 1 by nita vt ok so the same formula I am going to apply for this equation or the differentiation so we will get this one and it is a constant value i naught into tau the differentiation for a constant value is equal to the 0 so that is why I am taking here equal to 0 now dq by dv is equal to I am taking here this tau by nita vt multiply with i naught e power v by nita vt so I am writing here I am rearranging the terms so that is tau i naught i naught I am separating and tau by this is nita vt I am writing here i naught into e power v by nita vt ok so I already taken that i naught into e power v by nita vt is equal to i plus i naught substitute in place of i naught e power v by nita vt i plus i i naught so uh, from equation number 3 so I am substituting in place of i naught e power v by nita vt this value I am substituting so therefore i naught e power v by nita vt is equal to i plus i naught so if we substitute this one here so what you will get dq by dv is equal to tau by nita vt i plus i naught ok so in place of this I am substituting this i plus i naught ok so here therefore the final value here for dq by dv is equal to tau by nita vt i plus i naught but what we consider here cd that is diffusion capacitance is equal to that is here cd is equal to dq by dv that is change in the charge with respect to applied voltage that is equal to tau by nita vt multiply with i plus i naught ok here tau is the average lifetime of the carriers and i is the total diode current i naught is reverse saturation current ok so a reverse saturation current is very very less as compared with the 
the total diode current. So here I will consider I is very very greater than I naught. I naught is here the reverse saturation current. So we can write uh, C D is equal to d q by d v, and I am neglecting this I naught because of this condition. The total current is very greater than the reverse saturation current. That's why I am neglecting this I naught uh, from this equation. So if I neglect that one, I can rewrite the equation as C D is equal to C sub x D is equal to d q by d v. That is equal to tau. And here I have i and tau i by nita v. So this is what we got the equation of the diffusion capacitance that will be considered in forward bias condition of a p-n junction diode. So therefore, C D is equal to d q by d v and it is tau i by nita v t. If we neglect that i naught, that is reverse saturation current. So this is the equation of the diffusion capacitance. That is equal to tau i by nita v, and the range of this diffusion capacitance is from 0.1 microfarad to the 7 microfarads. Okay, from 0.1 microfarad to the 7 microfarads. Okay, so this is about uh, the diffusion capacitance of a p-n junction diode. Okay, so here the transition capacitance or spray charge capacitance will be considered. in reverse bias condition and the diffusion capacitance can be considered in forward bias condition of a p-n junction diode and it is equal to tau i by nita v okay so this is about the diffusion capacitance thank you thanks for watching subscribe our channel